Hi, welcome to my channel Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about the top 10 interview questions that I used to ask if I if I am an interviewer. So in this video, I'm going to explain you both the question and answer, but I already made a uh, video part one in which I have just explained the question in and out. But in this video, I'm going to give the answers for those questions. So if you really want to uh, check my previous video, the part one of the same video, I have given the link in the description box of this video. You can have a look. Fine. So the very first question that I'm going to ask in all the interviews is hi, partition versus bucket. Sorry, partition and bucket. Okay. Okay, this is the first question and this questions you will always face in any interview that you go. So now imagine there is a table in Hive and you have a column like country. So you get uh, data from different uh, uh, people from different countries. Now imagine there is no partition in my table. So you get Indian record and one US record and there is one more US record and there is one more Indian record and uh, there is an Australian record, two Australian record and then there is a UK record and UAE and again UK. Now I'm going to write a query, select star from the table where country equal to India. So what will happen here? It used to first read the first record India. Okay, India is there and then it used to read the second record and then third record and then fourth. Okay, there is a record India. So now here the question is why my query has to read these two records because this is not the Indian record. They are US record. Yes. So when there is no partition, your hive query will do a full search. Your hive query will do a full search. And that means your read time will get increased and your query performance will go down. So here the partition comes into picture in Hive. So we create partitions like one partition for one country. In the, all Indian records will go here and all US record will go here and then UAE and then Australia and something like that. So now there is two partitions in Hive, where is static partition and dynamic partition. And static partitions, just uh, you, you decide the partition before you create the table itself or while you create the table itself. And if you have only four partitions got created, only the four partition will be get created. And even though if a new value comes into picture, for example, you decided to have only four partition for the country column, but then there is a new country comes into picture, but you have mentioned it as a static partition and that means Imagine now this is a static partition. You created four partition and there is one more new record comes like UK record. So what will happen, right? It will create one partition in which UK record will get stored. And there is one more record comes like it's like Japan record. So again, Japan record also will go here. That means hereafter, whatever the new country com comes into picture, it all goes to one partition. Because this is static. Only for the uh, uh, partitions which for the country which you have created will be get distributed equally but other than that the remaining all will be into one so dynamic partition is something different so you don't want to mention the partition count uh, during creating the table the hive itself will take care of it so for example i i so uh, if any new record comes okay take this example itself dynamic partition if uk record comes it will create one new partition for uk and then japan record comes it will create a one new uh, partition for japan Okay, so it creates based on the new entry comes into picture. So dynamic partition is widely used in the real time. And here comes the bucket. So what exactly bucket will do alone is something I will dis discuss in the different video. Okay, so here I will just explain you the bucket along with the partition. Okay, so we create buckets. So while creating in buckets, you have to mention how many bucket has to be get created. It's not like dynamic bucket, static bucket, similar to dynamic and uh, static partition. In bucket, we don't have such concepts. It's always static. You have to to say how many buckets has to be get created and what happens if i want to increase my bucket count in future that is highly possible i have a separate video i have given the link in the description box of this video uh, the title is how to decide a bucket count in future okay so there is a video you can have a look so bucket is again creating a sub partition under each partition for example, if I have three buckets, I create three buckets. In each partition, three buckets will be get created. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And furthermore, like your records are getting partition. That's it. So again, Indian record will be splitted into three buckets here so that your query performance will be good even more. And when exactly I will use only bucket without partition? Okay, that is what I raised as a question before. I will make that as a separate video. Okay, so it, it will take long time for me to explain. Okay, so I don't want to make the uh, video lengthier here. Fine. So what is the next question? So next question is uh, default partition algorithm for MapReduce, Spark and then buckets. 
So the bucket internal algorithm is something the same as what Spark default partition and MapReduce default partition does. So what is default partition? So if I'm not telling the partition, then Spark, MapReduce and bucket itself will decide where the output has to be get split at. So that is something it has its own algorithm to do that. And we call that as an hash partitioner, which is called the default partitional algorithm that the framework itself will take care of to decide the uh, target for your uh, uh, data so the algorithm name is hash partition okay and the formula is hash of the key mod of number of reducer so we use this word number of reducer if you are explaining this answer for map reduce and if if this if the formula is same for all these three <clears throat> but if it is map reduce you have to say number of reducer if it is spark you have to say number of partition and then if it is bucket, then you have to say number of bucket. Okay. So now hash of the key. So for example, you have a record one comma Gautam uh, comma India. And there is an, another record two comma Saravana comma US. So you have something like this. So you can decide uh, which column should act as a key column. So for that column, the hash value will be get generated. Okay. So imagine I'm going with this uh, row number as a key column so that means so hash of the key will be get computed for this one okay so this hash of so this hashing algorithm as, as a, like we will never come to know what it actually does internally which hash value it use we are not aware of it but just imagine so the hash value computed for this one and the result is 23 just imagine now number of reducer or number of partition or number of pack, uh, bucket is something we decide okay so if if it is uh, uh, spark then you do repartition of two if it is reducer you need repart reducer of two if it is bucket then you need a bucket of two it's all about you decide this actually so now imagine there is two number of uh, bucket or number of partition in spark is two now what happens right so this 23 will be get divided by two Obviously, it is an odd number, so you will be getting 0, 1 as the reminder. So, mod means reminder value of the division. So, this 1 what represents? This, this 1 denotes what? Okay. Now, if you run this Spark program with two partition, you will have two output files, right? Four files. So, part hyphen 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 part hyphen 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, you will have these two files. If it is bucket, then you will have two bucket. So, this 1 denotes the position of your output file so this is one this is this is zero and this is one so this one denotes the position so this is where so one means here it is one okay so here uh, if you see this uh, reminder one generated for this record right so this record goes to this file because it is one now imagine i'm going to compute hash value for number two and this number two uh, hash value is 78 now divide uh, 78 by 2 obviously 78 0 the remainder will be 0 because any even number divided by 2 is 0 so now this 0 denotes the first file so this 2 sarona us record will goes to first partition that means 0th partition so this is how spark map produce and buckets internally uh, decides the uh, placement of your record when you are not giving anything so if you want to do something okay i want to do i want to customize this then you have to write a custom partitioner in map reduce and custom partitioner in spark and when it comes to hive you have to use partition not to use bucket in hive part in hive creating a partition is custom partition but in map reduce and spark you have to write a program custom partition so there is a custom partition program video i have a video for it uh, with based based out on spark and that video link is also there in the description box you can refer it so this is the second question let me go for the next question so the file formats list of file formats that you use in hive okay so we have some file formats like uh, if you see this is a cut copy paste image from the heart and uh, cloud uh, blocks so if you see here uh, we have text file format and then rc file which is row column in our full form and there is a parquet file orc and there is a few more like sequence file format and nline input format we have so many other with respect to hive the very frequently used file format means orc and parquet only so if you see here 58 85 GB of text file will be get compressed when I use RC uh, like 14 percentage is getting compressed and then when I go for parquet it is like 62 percent it is getting uh, comp compressed compared to the 585 GB so it, this file format is not only for the compression it also does different uh, 
things actually the query performance and then uh, the tuning part of uh, the query everything uh, it, it's there it's not only the compression in some cases ORC will be best and in some cases Parquet will be best we cannot say always ORC is best or always Parquet is best so it's always depends on the use case but try to explain this as an answer just don't say most of the answers that I used to get for this question is candidate will say it depends on the use case yeah of course I know it depends on the use case but explain me you have to say like we have these many formats and we use ORC format because so and so reason or we use parquet format so so and so reason that is what required okay fine At end of the day it, it, the fact is it depends on the use case only okay so what is the next question so spark word count program so that is what the next question that i have asked so spark word count program you can write it in any flavor scala python or java so if you see here this is a scala version of word count program so here you read the file and then you do a flat map you you just split the data my uh, uh, file has words with space delimiter so i have given space here and then you are doing a key value separation where for each word you are appending uh, hard coding one so that means hi hello hi so hi one hello one hi one and then finally you are doing and shuffle on top of it by reduce by key so that the each duplicate word uh, value will be get incremented because we have two high so high one comma one it will be high two and then hello one it's just only one word so hello one so finally you are invoking an action and then you will be getting an output so here this collect is the action reduce by key map and flat map are called transformations whereas flat map and map is called narrow transformation reduce by key is called wide transformation because narrow transformation there won't be any shuff uh, shuffle but in wide transformation we will have shuffle so reduce by key is in wide transformation so this is also an interview question they will ask you the difference between narrow and wide transformations okay next question join two data frames using spark sql okay so most of the time in the interviews right so what people used to do they used to tell me spark.sql and they used to write the full select query the join query uh, within this uh, uh, triple quotes so this is the one way of doing as i know but this is not doing via data frames okay this is not you are not using data frames so what i am asking you is you have to join two data frames or two hive tables via spark sql whatever the answer is same you have to use this way this is what data frame whereas one table called emp you created a data frame for one table and there is a second table department for which you created in another df now you have to do a join employee data frame dot join department data frame comma employee data frame so you have to get the column on which you have to do a condition so employee department id equal to equal to department df of department id and you are doing an inner join here and finally you do a show so this is what i'm expecting when when i ask you to write a, a spark sql uh, two data frame joins or joining the two data frame fine next question high vasi table high vasi table what is high vasi table and how to create it so high vasi tables allows you to do an insert update and delete and how to create an high vasi table when i ask this questions people used to say transaction property needs to be enabled true but that is not the only thing you will do you have few more things to do and then only the table will be get uh, uh, eligible to be an ASCII table if you haven't used in the real time but that is completely fine but tell them how to create a table and what is ASCII table that is what needed because most of the time candidate will say I haven't used it but that's fine at least you would have been learned it right so I need that actually so if, if you are not using acid table tell me why because we don't have any update scenarios so we use everything for analytical process OLAP if it is you have updates frequently then that is called OLTP database means transaction process you tell them that we are not using it for OLTP we are using it for only OLAP and now tell me what is acid then you have to say it is acid means insert update deletes are allowed it. now tell me how to create a table so here you have to set these properties first but this is also not uh, mandatory for us to explain the interview you can say there is few test pro set properties we have to set and then the important thing what I'm expecting in my interviews right they have to tell me what are all the things that we have to do in hive table so that my table will be get eligible as an ASCII table the very first point your table should be an internal table external table is not supported by ASCII. only internal table second your table should use buckets it has to be bucketed third ASCII tables will use only ORC format fourth transaction equal to true so people used to just to say transaction equal to true but you have three more points to say 
when hive table is eligible for an acid so internal table you have to use buckets and then you have to use ORC file format only and then transaction property equal to true this is what expected fine so uh, the next last question okay we have uh, two more questions now there is a scenario uh, I will just give you a scenario here just give me a second so now there is a scenario like I have uh, two blocks in HDFS for which you have to write a spark program okay now the question is how many input task will be get created in spark and how many output task will be created in the spark okay fine okay so I have two blocks in HDFS and you write a spark word count program or whatever program it is so how many input task and how many output task okay so input task so number of blocks in hdfs is equal to number of tasks in spark same as MapReduce. so two input tasks simple output task okay by default you haven't given any repartition or collage you didn't give anything that means if your input task the number of input task equal to output task so two input task and two output task so that means you will be having two output files part hyphen 000 part hyphen 00001 so when there is no repartition collage then the default output task will be two people used to answer this but not this okay now you are using repartition you 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 are making it as three then fine there will be three partition collage you are making it as one then there will be one partition but we are not using any of those fine next question repartition and collage what is the difference between repartition and collage repartition versus collage so repartition used to increase the partition collage used to decrease the partition if you see here i want to increase my output task uh, let me say take the same example so you can use repartition of three if you want to increase if you want to decrease then you can use collage of one so you are decreasing it to one and there is one more point to explain it's not only increase and decrease repartition will do a shuffle whereas collage will be not doing that means i can say when you reduce it the shuffle will be get reduced it's not like the shuffle won't happen it will reduce but repartition will do a full shuffle again so this is the last question like repartition with collage and these are all the 10 questions that i always used to ask in my interviews and out of which like four to uh, like three to four questions is wrong is completely fine for me but i will expect people to say at least six questions and answers uh, correct answers then i will be selecting them so as i told you there is already a video in which i have explained the questions in and out and this video is only for the answers for those questions and if you really like this video please do subscribe to my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and please do share this in linkedin we do have a lot of big data videos and you can see my description box where i have categorized all the big data videos playlist links in both english and tamil language you can pick the one which you want uh, in the description box thanks for watching